I'm Marcus Riccelli, your state representative from the 3rd District, serving Spokane, the heartbeat of the Inland Northwest. On Tuesday, January 28th, I hosted a telephone town hall with Senator Andy Billig and Representative Tim Ormsby. We took questions from callers from Spokane about a range of issues from health care and homelessness to jobs and workers' rights. Thank you to everyone who listened and asked questions. It was great to connect with you all and share some of the work we're doing here in Olympia. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get all the questions, so I thought I'd respond to a few here. But if you want to ask a question in person, we'll be hosting a live town hall in Spokane on Saturday, February 22nd from 10 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. at the Women's Club of Spokane. I hope you can join. One person wanted to know if lawmakers would be considering the low carbon fuel standard again, or if that was not going to happen. It's a great question and very topical. Last year, the House passed a low carbon fuel standard bill, but it did not pass the Senate. Recently, the House voted again to pass a low carbon fuel standard because it's time to face reality. Climate change is a crisis that is affecting the entire world, and we've seen its effects here in Washington State. I support this bill because I want Washington to move toward sustainable and renewable fuel sources that will create thousands of jobs in our state while removing carbon from our atmosphere. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions is both good for our economy and for the future well-being of our children and grandchildren. Another question we weren't able to get to was about special education funding. As you know, lawmakers have been working on ways to increase funding for special education. We've already put over $13 billion into new education funding, but last year we passed a new law to increase funding for special education in schools across the state. We're watching how that new law works and identifying areas that need further increases or changes to how funding is applied. One thing to be sure of is that we are not done working on education in our state, and I'll continue to put children first as a top priority in the state budget. I've prioritized ensuring children have access to quality, nutritious food. Many students get free or reduced breakfast and lunch at their schools, but not every school makes use of federal funding to expand those meal programs, leaving some kids behind. We have a chance to change that with a new bill I'm working on that will help schools and school districts qualify for existing federal funding that will result in every student getting free breakfast or lunch, whether they qualify for it or not. Using federal funds means no hit to the state budget, but makes a major difference in the lives of students who too often are going hungry while at school. In another area, I was happy to meet with members of Greater Spokane Incorporated talking about how we can work together to make sure our region is vibrant and thriving through support of our small businesses and community organizations. Thank you for watching and please reach out to my office with any questions. It's an honor to serve as your state representative.